told you that this kingdom message, this is the last sermon in the foundational series, but I'm telling you, this is going to take time. Because as I unfold these messages, the Holy Spirit says, I'm about to keep working on this garment on you until it fits you like a glove. And the Holy Spirit says, if you run from me, nope, I'm my old self, it's my birthday. Don't look, don't look at the God thing around my knees. But I'm a businessman. I'm going to be a shark in business. I'm listening to all these people. Don't mind that I have a calling still around me. That no matter how much I want to run towards something else, I've been marked. Because I've got something on. And people are looking at me and it's tough. Because of the call of God on your life, many can, but you still cannot. Is there anybody that's tried to wild out? Tried to do all the wrong things. Tried to be what everybody else is. But I have been marked by God. Why everybody else didn't get caught? It's because there's something around your life. Oh, my God. There's something that trips your steps up. Everybody else running in sin. But you stumbling in sin. You don't even look right. You can't even cuss right. Email the wrong person. Tell your boss. How you email your boss? It's because there's something that the old folks saying that are, is on your life that just won't leave you alone. It's that calling. And at some point, enough will happen. Hey, what's up, Holy Spirit? <laughs> he said, welcome back. They caught you with your pants down. Oh, yeah. And what do you do? You start the process over again because I'm I weigh different now. And some of you are so frustrated. If you would just stay in the place he told you to stay in. If you would just let him keep doing the work on you. Well, when am I going to get married? When he finishes. Okay, let me stop. And most people won't stay on the tailoring block because... Tailoring takes transparency. Somebody, this is never going to leave you ever again. Tailoring takes time. Watch this one. Tailoring takes talking. Hey, um, I just want to let you know um, my arm, I just don't want to be constricted in this. You got me? Yes, sir. Bring this up a little bit. Yeah, but... but I don't know. I've seen some other people with it cuffed, like double cuffed. Let's try, Let's try it. No, I like the, no. Matter of fact, do what you think. I'm, I've never designed clothes before. I've never made a purpose before. I've never formed or fashioned anybody. This is what you do, right? So how long have you been doing this? All day, every day. All day, every day. Since the beginning of time? Yes, sir. How many people have you helped reach destiny? As many as would let me. As many as would let me. It's in the relationship, the talking to the Holy Spirit. That it, it turns less into something that he's cutting and poking. It turns into a relationship. One of the things I'll tell you about me and my tailor, we're actually best friends. Because <laughs> we spend so much time in vulnerable positions together. <laughs> my... <v> <laughs> This man has been with me through all the transitions. He, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll punch you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> he's, he's seen my transformation. He's walked with me. So now it's no longer a job for us. 
It's time we get to spend together. Most of us, we actually enjoy our time together. I get off the plane last night. John says, call me when you land. I, call, I mean, Holy Spirit says, call me. Well, John <laughs> says, call me when you land. Okay, you're, you just switch back. You role play, okay? He says, call me when you land. I call him. He shows up on my house, and we talk for longer than it took to actually get my measurements. Because now it's not about just getting the job done. It's about spending time with my friend. The Holy Spirit wants to tailor make your kingdom purpose to you. But he wants to do it from an area of not just religion or regiment. He wants to do it through relationship. And that means you're going to have to talk to the Holy Spirit. Practically, what does that look like, Pastor Mike? I talk to God all day. Lord, help me not go in here and say anything in this meeting that doesn't represent you. Holy Spirit, put a bridle on my tongue so that I can represent you well. Lord, Natalie's mad at me, and honestly, I'm mad at her. Holy Spirit, help me not cause strife in my marriage. And the Holy Spirit begins to talk to me, walk with me, teach me, or what the Bible says, lead me into all what? Truth. Holy Spirit, you got your measurement, so um, could you take what you say is going to fit me? And could you start... Uh, I might have to take something off. Holy Spirit, I really like these. They were kind of expensive too. <laughs> but I'm going to have to take off something. Well, this messes up my outfit now, Holy Spirit. And now I have a choice. This is uncomfortable. Just take it off. Take it off. It's more uncomfortable to keep it on while you're trying to work on me. How did my pants get so long? <laughs> when I was dressed how culture wanted me to dress, they looked right. But as I start to take off, who gave me Kevin Durant's pants? I didn't even realize because it was fashion that these actually don't fit. When the Holy Spirit starts working on you, there are things that you may think make you who you are that no longer fit. And I look like a fool up here. Until the Holy Spirit calls me back to tell me I have something prepared for you. Let me tell you the last reason why people don't get tailored. I hope you get this in your mind right now. The Holy Spirit is coming to tailor make your purpose in the kingdom. And the king is asking you to do two words. Change. Close. Tailoring takes transparency. Tailoring takes time. Tailoring takes talking. Last one. Tailoring takes trust. I got to believe he knows the design. I got to believe however he going to fit that to me, it's going to work. I could be worried all night that I'm going to disappoint somebody and I'm not going to be able to do what I want to do. And the Holy Spirit is saying, this is what I do. Trust me with your life. I want you to change clothes. I'm going to be very practical at the end of this message. I was trying to think, how do I 